Hi, welcome to this video where we're going to look at a mental strategy for addition. One of the really important things to remember with mental calculations is that it doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to work faster. Mental calculations are all about flexibility and being able to calculate in a flexible way. Let's have a look at the jump strategy today. And we're going to use a representation to help us do this. Remember, if you enjoy teaching this way, using representations and concrete materials, then make sure you subscribe at the end of the video so that you always receive notifications of future videos that we post. Okay, let's have a look. The representation I'm going to use is a number line. And I'm not going to use a perfect number line here with every uh, number labelled equally. It's a representation to help me understand the process and to track my additions as I go. I'm going to front load and if you haven't heard that term before, front loading when we're doing addition means that we start with the bigger number. So I'm going to start with 38 and then I have to add on this 17. So I'm going to jump but I'm not going to do just one jump and immediately add on the 17. I don't know what 38 plus 17 is. I need to break 17 down, partition it. And 17 is equal to 10 plus seven. So I could do one jump from my 38 to 48 by adding the 10. And that's taking advantage of my understanding of place value. I had three tens here, I've added another 10, so I've now got four tens. I might know eight plus seven is 15 and be able to do that in my head. But if I don't, what I can do is partition seven further into two plus five. I jumped two and the reason I did that was because it will get me to my nice 50, my other place value number that's easy to keep in my mind. I can keep using my place value understanding. So I added the two to get me to 50, and now I'm going to get the right colored pen <laughs> and jump five to get me to 55. So we broke down 17, we call it partitioning, to get me to significant place value points that make it easier for me to add the number together. Now I mentioned that mental strategies are all about being flexible and there's more than one way to do this jump strategy with this particular problem. For instance, I could have started with the 38 and done an initial jump of two to get me to 40. That would have mean that I'd partition 17 into two plus 15. I might have then jumped the 10 to get me to the 50, which meant that I partitioned the 15 into 10 plus five. And now finally, I can do that last jump of five. And that's the jump strategy. What we're aiming to do here is to use the representation to build up a student's visualization. Our ultimate aim is for them to be able to do this in their mind, but they will actually be seeing one of these processes as they go. Have a look at how your student prefers to do the jumps on the jump strategy. And they can discuss the benefits of each of the different ways of going about it to choose their preferred method. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, please do hit subscribe and leave a, a like or a comment. It really helps on the business side of things. And don't forget to pop over to learningnew.com.au where we've got videos on several maths topics as well as some free resources to use.